Hey, what's up guys? Steel Rain, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an overview and uh, kind of a review, quick look at the new Emacs light spec 2207-2550 KV motor. And to tell you honestly, I really think this is their best motor they've made yet, even without testing, just because of some of the features that it comes with. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started, and I'll let you know what comes with this motor. Uh, they're claiming it has NSK high efficiency bearings, which is pretty good. Uh, 0.15 millimeter silicon steel laminations. Uh, aluminum shaft, uh, prop shaft with a hardened steel core. So that'll be nice and strong for you. Uh, 1.8 millimeter N48 SH arc magnets. Uh, it's got a screw in the bottom to capture the bell design. So go ahead and show you that there. Nice little screw for easy maintenance. Uh, it takes a 3 to 5S LiPo according to them, but I'm sure it'll take a 6S LiPo with no issues. Uh, on the bottom, it's the old design used to be 16 by 19 millimeter um, mounting. So now they've changed it to 16 by 16. So there's, I guess the whole idea is there's no more slotted frames. It'll just be 16 by 16. And as you can see, it's a naked bottom as well, so gets gets rid of a lot of material and, and weight, especially for this size of a motor. Uh, let's see what's next. Uh, 120 millimeter, 18 gauge wire, which they claim is 5% more efficient and more performance increase over the normal uh, 20 gauge wire that comes with most motors. So I'll have to, I'm not sure if there's really any way 5% Pretty low increase, but any increase is better than, than nothing. So uh, it's got a new bell design. Uh, they claim with upper and lower beam support, so it'll make it a lot stronger in crashes. Uh, Con Conrad Ferrari, Ferrari, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that name, but he's raced with these. Uh, I guess it was in Reno just recently, and and put them through some pretty hard crashes. So he says they're they're pretty pretty strong for what they are. Uh, they cost $22.99 on average for most stores, which isn't too bad. It's it's kind of in the upper end, but, you know, then again, we'll, we'll really have to see. I've seen motors upwards of $25, $30, $35. Bucks, so, I mean, it's if it's a pretty decent motor, then it's it'll be well worth it. Uh, they say it's 30 grams without the wire. We're going to go ahead right now and check and see what it is, uh, you know, with, with the 120 millimeter of wire. So let's go ahead and turn this on here. Let it zero out. And it says 36 grams with the wire. Uh, it seems pretty heavy. If you're running a 4 in one ESC, you're going to have to run most of the length of this wire. But, you know, I guess, I guess we'll have to see. Yeah, 36 grams, so go ahead and shove that off to the side. All right, so the next spec uh, is near, from their testing, near 1,400 grams of thrust on a 4S. I guarantee you that's going to jump up to 16, 1,700 grams of thrust on a 5S. And, uh, you know, who, who really knows what it's going to be on a 6S? I'm sure this thing will take 6S, no problem, but from Emacs, it's just really not recommended so we'll go ahead and get into what it comes with in the box the normal beautiful box that Emacs has they throw you you know some great stickers got some good foam you could use for other things bags are nice and labeled these are mounting screws and as it says on there for four millimeter thick arms Looks like they also have an extra bell retention screw and washer. That's pretty cool in case you lose your other one. And let's see here. Also have uh, screws for th three millimeter thick arms. Well, that's pretty cool. And what's awesome about this, like I said before, it's you know they've got on the naked naked bottom hype train, and pretty much you're not gonna. A lot of guys have had problems in the past putting too long of screws in and hitting the windings, shorting out the motor and causing other problems. So 
I don't believe you shouldn't have problems with, with this. You should be able to see it nice and easy and uh, no issues should be had there. So next we're going to do is go ahead and take apart the motor. This is a going to be a 1.5 millimeter screw here on the bottom. It's nice and Loctited in. Got the screw removed. You can see the screw, the screw and the washer right there. Take the motor apart. Pretty strong magnets. So kind of hard to grip. There we go. I'll go ahead and take a look at the bell first. You can see the balancing mud. So they've dynamically balanced it really well. And there's the magnets there. They look to be curved. You can take a close up look there. Sorry about the lighting guys. Beautiful magnets, nice and spaced. Some balancing mud. 1.8 millimeter magnets. And there you can see the hardened steel shaft. It's like a pretty open lightweight design. Remember guys also did take the weight too with the prop nut. I'm sure the prop nut's about a gram or two, so but then again, everybody's gonna be using it with the prop nut. Got some nice grooves right down in here. You can see for holding your, your prop on, give it a little extra grip. It's got nice beveled edge design. Really beautiful bell on this motor. So all right, and there is the stator. And we'll go ahead and try to get a measurement here on it. And I'm seeing seven millimeters exactly. Just some uh, close up of the NSK bearing. And it looks like they're using multi strand, multi strand wire around the stators for the coils. Overall, it looks like a pretty beautiful motor. Um, hopefully, it's going to perform pretty good. Go ahead and pop the bell back on here. Magnets are real strong. So, there it is, pretty much, guys. And you guys will be seeing my review of this soon. It's going to be on this build right here, which will be coming up later this week. It's got four of those motors on there. It's going to be a nice, clean design. And, um, Go ahead and let you guys know how they perform, but personally, I think for Emacs, these are going to be the missing link of the motors, uh, just because of all the features that that's included with this motor, uh, especially in a 2207. I mean, yeah, it did come out as 36 grams, and I'm going to be pretty much using the full length of the wires, but uh, you know, for a 2207, I'm really hoping it's going to perform and. And, and we, you know, especially with all the features they've added. So that's pretty much going to be it, guys. Uh, be sure to, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, if you have any uh, questions, comments, or suggestions, go ahead and leave them down below. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you.